somebody who just activates his police badge whenever is convenient for him. But anyways, let's move on. So now we're going to go over the part where he's being asked about, didn't you say the victim looked like he was in a fight? And we're going to see how his body reacts here. Could have been a multitude of things. But what was going through your mind at that point was it could have been a fight or whatever, because he had trauma to his head. Those were your words. <coughs> Those were my words, yes. Okay. So you didn't think it was like some old man who died of old age? Right? Based on his age, no, I wouldn't have suspected that. Just a no would have suffice. or something. Again, it could have been a multitude of things to cause those injuries. So at that point in time, we had no idea what we were what we were looking at. But you were aware that it had something to do with a violent incident. He had trauma to his face. He's unconscious, correct? Yes, you're right. Sustained. Did you believe that there were any indicators that Mr. O'Keefe had been involved in some sort of a physical altercation? Possibly. Okay. And that's because you used the phrase, he had trauma to his face and head, right? That's what I had been told, yes. So based on what you had been told, you knew that there was a person laying out unconscious just outside a residence that may have been involved in a physical altercation. That's fair. It's a possibility, yes. Yeah, and there were a multitude of things that were going through my head as possibilities. But that's one of the, the premier possibilities, right? 